Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something, something you, I'm sure you want to hear. The amount of money you can make as a Unity developer this year in 2021, 2022, kind of what the expectations are uh, as a Unity developer. You know, wherever you are in the world, I'm sure there's there's a place for you to be paid. And it's honestly, it's it's not a bad gig. If, you, if you're already doing it a lot at home, you know, you might as well get paid to do something like it. Um, you might make more than the job you're at right now. So, I mean, it's something can, to consider. Before we start, I wanted to talk a little bit about the future of this channel. Um, I'm going to be releasing a couple of uh, tutorials in the next couple of weeks. So if you aren't subscribed already, please consider subscribing and, and check those out. I'm sure you're going to want to see them. They're all Unity tutorials that go over intermediate topics and cover intermediate methods to, you know, problems and, and you know, some good solutions in, as to how we can fix things like the animator controller and stuff like that. So yeah, come and subscribe, like the video and, and check it out. And I think it'd be awesome to have you guys. So moving on, as a Unity developer, uh, salary can really vary depending on where you live, right? That's with any job. But specifically, Unity developer has a very, very wide range of salary depending on where you live. I think nationwide in the U.S. it's like 90k as a as a unit as an average, um, but then if you go down to the other areas that that people work, it can go as low as 30. It can go up to 50, 60, 70. You know, it's everywhere. The good thing about nowadays in 2021 is, well, it's not good, but the pandemic has kind of brought remote work to the forefront, and so you don't technically have to work in Idaho if you live in Idaho or in Nebraska if you live in Nebraska. You can get a job remote using Unity and work anywhere across the world, work in California, work in France. However it is, the, the ability to work as a Unity developer from home has only increased in this pandemic. And, it, and for good reason, I mean, what do you, I feel like I get my best work done when I'm at home. And so I think, yeah, you could take the salary with a grain of salt. I think what you need to really look at is where your job is located and who they're competing with. A good first stop for me when I'm deciding to see what a salary would be for, for a job that I'm gonna take or a, that I'm interested in is I go to Glassdoor you know, this isn't anything kind of a sponsored video, but it's usually the first thing that I see when I go on Google and I search, you know, whatever salary, like Unity developer salary, Glassdoor will pop up. And the good thing about Glassdoor is it, not only is it localized, it has the ability to set where you live, what you're doing, but it has the ability to have non anonymous submissions from, from people all over the world that have the same job as you at different companies. And it kind of averages out the salary and gives you a good idea of what you can ask for or what you can accept as a uh, salary offer. And so for me in Orlando, it says the average Unity developer makes about 50 something thousand. I don't remember exactly offhand. And you know, that's, that's a decent, that's a decent, uh, I guess, estimate. Um, I think with the, with the fact that remote is kind of kicking in, I think those numbers could be skewed a little bit and it's actually more on the higher end. So yeah, don't, don't feel bad if you're going to make 50, 60,000, but you're doing something you love. Me personally, I would much rather take a 10% pay cut and do something that I love or 20% pay cut and do something that I love rather than just sitting at a desk all day, you know, and, and want to just, you know, I don't even know, blow my brains out or something, just, just doing the same old routine. At least as a Unity developer, you get the chance to, you know, increase the skills that you want and make money at the same time, uh, you know, supporting yourself with doing something you love. Who could turn that down? The interesting thing is you don't really need that many years of experience and you definitely don't need a college degree or anything like that, right? The, the tools that are available on YouTube with the amount of channels, the amount of knowledge, if you're willing to put in the time and learn is amazing. You can probably get a job after six months to a year of just learning Unity and brushing up on the fundamentals and, and learning the ins and outs of everything, learning some C-sharp programming and, and learning the basics. You could get a job paying the minimum, you know, $60,000, $50,000 no problem. I don't think there's an issue with that. Now, I know people are going to say, like, what about being an indie developer? And, and indie developer is, is such a, a highly praised title. I don't say anything bad about it. But you got to make some money in the meantime, right? And so what you're probably doing right now is, is, is working at a job. You know, you could be making $100,000, $100,000 a year, but doing something you don't like. Maybe you're doing something you love. Maybe you're a lawyer or something like that, and you just do Unity on the side. And if, it, and if that's for you, then, then great. You know, you don't need to do that. You don't need to go Get a job, you could just continue on your side and do the indie developer thing, and and hopefully it hits for you and it's not a big deal. But for people who need extra income or or already have a job, you know, where they're making fifty, sixty, seventy thousand, and they're not, you know, they're not happy, potentially see this as as a way out of of your hole, right? You can go get a job doing something you love, brush up on your skills, improve the skills to your own games at home. You know, you're going to be learning from. Usually when you're working as a Unity developer, you're working on a team of other software developers. P potentially there's experts there that have 10, 15, 20 years of experience in, in game development. And so you're going to be learning different ways to do things. You're going to be learning from game designers, potentially animators, artists. You're going to have a whole team. So I, yes, you can, you can take all those skills that you're learning and put them into your indie game 
you know, journey, indie game company potentially. And not only that, you can have some money probably left over if you have an ability, you know, if you get a good enough job where you can start funding your own games, you know, buy some assets, buy some contractors, you know, contract out parts that you, that you don't want to do or that you can't do. That's hard for you. So really consider this as a, as a viable option. An interesting thing is, is a lot of people say focus on one skill, focus on one skill. But if you've been doing the indie developer journey, you know, and, and trying to learn everything, master it all and been able to accomplish, you know, create some games or create at least portions of games and have some advanced systems within your games that you haven't just copy pasted from someone, you should have a pretty relatively good chance at getting a job anywhere as a Unity developer, at least as a junior one, right? So you don't need to worry if you don't have enough skills unless you really don't know how to do anything in Unity. Uh, if you can understand the core components, if you know how to find things online without asking people for help nonstop, there's a good chance you will be able to get hired by someone. And, you know, as long as you can pass a technical interview, you'll have no issues. One last thing I want to touch on before I tell you, like, what I'm making, which is not, you know, not exorbitant, you know. I just told you the average salary, right? But one last thing I want to touch on was the, the, the variety of places that you can work. With, as a Unity developer, I mean, and this probably goes into Unreal too. I'm not, I don't have any experience with that. There, you don't just have to be working at game companies. You know, there's, there's lar a large array of, of people who are using Unity to help them with their, you know, work. So surgeons can use VR and Unity and, and help, you know, practice surgery or learn different components of the body. You know, there's lots of learning applications in schools and, you know, even military applications and, and all different kinds. So you don't have to be stuck at some little game company making mobile games. There's, there's a wide variety of things to learn, a wide variety of things to do. And it's just really interesting the, the places you can go as a Unity developer. So here's the big reveal. You know, the amount that I'm making at my job right now. 70,000. So it's not the most in the world, but I think that as my first Unity job, it's pretty good. Um, this is probably a good way, a good, a good place you can expect to be if you're just starting out, if it's your first job. And I think the, the more important part is that I'm, I have a, a senior developer over me who can kind of guide me through the debugging and, and more advanced systems that, that we have in place in the, in the game. And that we can, you know, read this code and, and see like the the code that's not mine and I can I can kind of understand it more so it's it's pretty good to get the experience on top of the money it's not a big deal um, it's it's pretty great and if you have any any inkling to go do this I would say go apply for a unity job and and just try to make your dreams come true as a developer uh, so if you enjoyed this video thank you so much like the video subscribe comment if you got a job in unity if you're looking for a job in unity you know let us know what what you're thinking what you're doing and thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day.